Hey guys, it's Elisa. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got ready for a family party. So if you want to know everything I did to get ready, then just keep on watching. The thing I'm doing is just brushing out my hair just to make sure that all the knots are out of it. And I have, and I did let my hair dry for about half an hour before I started drying it with a hair dryer. And then I'm just going in with my Sebastian heat protector. I'm just spritzing that all over my hair and then just brushing again just to make sure the product is spread evenly and then I'm just gonna start drying my hair. Now that my hair is dry, I'm just brushing it out again just to make sure that all of the knots are out of it. And uh, this was quite a hard process when you found that my hair is really thick and my hair does get very knotty in between the drying it. So I kind of did work on this for a little while, but. At the end, uh, I finally got all the loss, so... Now I'm just taking a hair bobble and just uh, pouring my hair up in a high ponytail just to get out my face uh, ready for when uh, I do uh, my makeup because I don't want my makeup getting into my hair, especially since I just washed it. I've already moisturised the skin and now I'm just going to go in uh, with my uh, Benefit uh, Professional and just focusing this on uh, my nose, my forehead and my chin. So basically my T-zone and then I'm just going to spread it out then uh, to the rest of my face uh, just because I do have uh, some pores which I don't want to show in uh, while I've got my makeup on. Now I'm just going to start colour correcting and I'm taking my sleek colour correcting palette and I'm just taking the green shade just putting it on any uh, redness I have uh, on my skin so basically any blemishes and also around my nose a little bit because uh, my nose tends to get very red around the sides. Then I'm just going to blend the concealer in uh, with a beauty blender just because uh, if I use a brush it'll move the product around which is not something that I want to do so I just dab uh, the beauty blender all over my face blend it in. And then I'm taking the purple shade and I'm just gonna put this under my eyes to counteract my uh, dark circles just because it does give them a lot of brightness. Then I'm just going in with my beauty blender again uh, just to make sure that all that is blended and I'm also gonna use my finger just to blend it in a little bit as well. Now for foundation, I'm just going in with my L'Oreal True Match and my Rimmel 25 hour foundation and I'm just going to mix these two together just to get the perfect shade and then I'm just going to dot it all over my face. Then I'm just taking the makeup sponge and this one is just a cheap one from Primark and it actually does work really really well. I'm just using that to blend the foundation all over my face and also down uh, my neck. Now I'm just taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Collection Illuminating Touch Concealer and I'm just going to put this under my eyes and then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger a little bit and then I'm going to go back in with the beauty sponge just to blend it out just to make sure that it doesn't cake up. Then I'm just going to take my Rimmel Match Perfection Translucent Powder and I'm just going to be baking under my eyes with this and I'm applying the powder on underneath my eyes with a damp beauty blender. 
Well, under my eyes are baking. I'm just going to use the Illuminating Touch Concealer again, uh, just to put on any any blemishes and also uh, down my nose and on my forehead. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Now for brows, I'm just using my Freedom Duo Brow Powder, and I'm just going to fill my brows in with this and I'm just going to use a mixture of the two shades which is an ashy colour and a warmer blondy colour. Then I'm just going to set it with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Blonde just to make sure that the powder for the brows doesn't go anyway and to give it a little bit more colour. Now I'm just taking the Rimmel Powder again just to set the rest of my face and then I'm going to go in with the brush and remove all of the excess powder from uh, underneath my eyes. Now I'm just going in with my next contour palette. I'm just going to take uh, the lightest colour in the palette. I'm going to put that under my eyes just to give it a little bit more coverage. And then I'm going in with my sleek rose gold br blush and uh, uh, dual fibre brush. I'm then going in with my Mary Luminizer by the Balm. I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones, uh, the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. And then going in with my Soap and Glory, the Perfect 10 uh, eyeshadow palette. And this was limited edition, so you cannot get this now. And then I'm just going to take the colour Nude Comma and I'm just going to put this all in my crease with a fluffy blending brush. Then I'm just taking the colour Minky, which is a shimmery brown kind of colour. And I'm just going to apply this with... One of the brushes that I had in one of my naked uh, palettes uh, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm then going back in uh, with Nude Cumber uh, just to make sure the both the shades are blended out well. And then I'm going in with the colour Toasty with a pencil brush and I'm just going to put this on my outer corner and blend it into my crease a little bit. Then I'm just uh, taking Nude Camera and just uh, running it under my eyes and then I'm going to take the colour Moon Mist and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner just to brighten it up a bit. Then for mascara I'm just going in with my uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I'm just going to do a couple of coats of this on my uh, top and bottom lashes just to give them more volume and more of a curl. Then I'm just going to be taking my L'Oreal lip liner in the number 302 just to outline my lips and then I'm just going to use the colour then just to fill it in a little bit. Then I'm going in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the, in the shade Tiramisu. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips just to give it a nicer gloss. Then I'm just going to set my entire face up with my L'Oreal uh, Infallible Fixing Mist. And I'm just going to shape this up really, really well. And I'm just going to spritz it all over my face. I've already straightened uh, my hair with my L'Oreal Steam Pod. And now I'm just uh, brushing out my hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small section uh, on the top of my hair. And then I'm just going to twist and add uh, pieces into the hair. And then uh, when I'm about an inch above my ear, I'm going to stop adding pieces and I'm just going to continue 
twist in and then I'm just going to secure it with a bunch of bobby pins. Onto my uh, outfit, my bomber jacket is from Tesco, my top is from Primark, my high waisted jeans are from New Look and then my shoes are, are just these patterned old school. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon, bye!